Where? Right there here. with the tie. And there's your fancy hat of yours. He's Look at that. over there. Gorgeous. I Hello, sir. Got yeah, he is. He's right. Let's see if I can do this. Right there, this guy. This guy right here. Right down there. Look at him. It's good to see you. How are you? <laughs> How have you been, G. Parker? Oh, did we lose his audio? Are you there, sir? <laughs> He's just laughing. Talk they told to me this was Parker. a. They told me this is a class act, so I, I I addressed appropriately. I heard this was. A... It looks fantastic. DKOG73, right down there in the corner. Let me do the. Help me off, Rich. He's right this over there. This is easy for me. He's straight down for me. <laughs> hey, look, how we are got you, DKOG73. Hey, how you guys doing, man? We're doing great. Nice to see you. Look at that view from DKOG 73's game room. That is something else. I see a couple new things in your room. Uh, and I don't think it's that Jurassic Park hat. What is right next to you? Well, right over here we have a we have something that I've wanted since I was a kid. You know, I always talk about, you know, there's there's three arcades growing up for me. One, one of them's Pac-Man, one of them's Donkey Kong, and one of yeah. them is Street Fighter. And uh, this is a To Die For special, it's amazing. Uh, big, huge shout out to uh, Bobby Boo, To Die For, man. This 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 is like a dream come true. We're gonna be doing a live stream um, in, the, in the, the middle part of March. It's gonna be off the hook, man. We're gonna, it's gonna be crazy, so yeah. Just having some fun. Say, uh, March? comes up so quick what is it march comes in like a lion or what is that saying g barker you know you know what I'm talking comes about. in like a lamb and goes out like a lion yes yeah hey, look at listen to him. he's a rock star right there we have a little bit of an echo i'm not sure if it's coming from somebody's phone uh or not we've got a little bit of weird audio going on but hopefully we can figure that part out so we are in episode two i'm just kind of march it's going to be off the hook man we're getting gonna things crazy, up on my so. head yeah, so, having some fun. Say, uh, March comes up so quick. What is March in like a lion or what is that oh, saying? Oh, oh, we have a mad echo right that. now. I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> my fault. Perfect. It's all I good. Thought it was, I thought it was my earbuds. No, no, no. I got no, different earbuds in today. I thought they had a delay built in. One thing I want to ask you, Parker, is you had a retro blitz in one of your videos. What was that like? What what went through your, your head when you saw the comments and you woke up to all that stuff? Tell us about it. Okay, good question, because I'll tell you what, I, I, you know me, I always try to make as many live streams as I can. Unfortunately, life got in the way and I, I couldn't make the live stream that night. Well, next thing you know, I start seeing this comments on this one video of mine that says, pay it forward, and it was on my Cactus Jacks pinball. Right. And I kept thinking, all right, man, I'll pay it forward. You want to I'll pay it forward with another pinball? What, what's what's going on here? And what do you I need just, me to do, right? Yeah, w w w what's going on? So I did reach out to kind of, let's see, the guy right here. <laughs> and I said, I said, uh, hey, man, something weird's going on. You, you know what's going on? And he says, uh, just stay tuned. Until I released the video for me, you know, to, to rewatch the video. Right. And uh, once I watched it, it just, it just, I'll tell you what, it, it did. It, it, it choked me up. I, I really did. I thought, man, what an honor. I watched the video. I just felt so much gratitude. And then I just started watching my subscriber base and I started watching the hits on the video and seeing how many people were involved. And I, I just, I was just in awe. I, I, so, I'll, I'll stop right there because you all know me. I can go on forever, but I was ecstatic. Let's put it that way. And I had no clue, no clue. Wondered what the heck's going on. You awesome. know what? It's funny. We did That's that awesome. a little bit before because Mr. Postile was the poor victim of a retro blitz. And I'm sure he probably went through those same emotions. Uh, but let's recognize the chat, DKOG73. Who do you see in the chat room? Well, you know, we see, uh, who do we see? Well, you know, we see, uh, we see Kelly, Arcade Chaos. Kelly's there. Hey. Games. 
Kelly, thank you so much for supporting. Absolutely. Your, your husband's a retro rock star. <laughs> he really is. Okay, yeah, who, who else, else we got in there? I see Fair Arcade Chaos. Chaos. Hello, Arcade Chaos. And we have uh, Papa Brad's. Hello, Papa Brad. How you guys doing? BBG we in have, the house. Papa uh, Brad. Feral oh. Inferno is here. And look who stayed up extra, extra late for us. Mr. MW Games. Yeah. Thank you for coming on the live stream. That really says something. Because if you check his comments, he figured out that the time of this show for him, where he is at, is around three o'clock in the morning. Is that right, MW? You'll have to let me know. I think it's like 3.30 in the morning for them. That yeah. is awesome. Gamers the Effect is in the house. Off-grid, you thought it was late for you. I know. No, 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 no. This yeah. is late. MW Games. Of course, that's uh, when DKOG73 is in his prime. He's very creative in the, in the middle of the night. Is that right? Yeah, we have a, you know... I watch a lot of, you know, music videos and we watch movies and, you know, as I'm playing games, you know, I'm thinking, hey, like, how can I put this, you know, music video or how does this song fit? And so it just, you know, we've been doing this for years, right? So why not just have some fun and put it in our videos, right? You do have quite a few edits on some of your videos. Like some of them, didn't you say there was like over a hundred edits on some of your videos, DK? The Indiana Jones video has over 500 edits. Yeah, wow. five hundred. That's, that's that's quite insane. a lineup. I did that one that had four a... once. I, I had four edits in one once. That, that's my record. I have an intro, hey. an outro. I think that's yeah. all I got. You yeah, real stuff like that. Real quickly before I forget, I I want to hear from Off Grid Arcade. Just recently, he had yeah. one of the coolest things happen ever. He went live on Donkey Kong and did something phenomenal. I just want him to share his story. And if you want to bring up the video, that would be awesome. But I just want to hear from Off Grid because, bro, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, man. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, when was that? That was like a week or two ago, wasn't it? I was just hanging out in the Off Grid Arcade, killing some time. Decided, let's go live and see what happens and scrolling through the games. And there was Donkey Kong. And I've been studying. I'm watching these guys. I like DKOG, who's much better than I am at Donkey Kong, and I try to learn. And I'm like, got to get past those springs. Got to get past those springs. And there it went. Made it past a couple of times, I think. I got up to, what was it, 140,000 on that game. Yeah, dude, you did it live. That's legit. All gameplay. I mean, it was, dude, live, that's a whole yeah. different ball game. Yeah, Is that the really Feels Like Donkey OBS Kong so video? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, <laughs> installed OBS. Yeah, maybe. I was just testing out the system and decided to throw some DK up there. And next thing you know, but uh, hey, I, I also want to mention now we got some people with Team Pandoris in the chat. We'll try some donkeys oh, here. Rock stars. Yeah. And on, let me, uh, uh, let me hit the sound. Sorry, guys. There were two or three people that showed up here. Uh, Gamers Effects is in the house. Drinking Games with Josh is here. Thanks for showing up, guys. We appreciate seeing you, guys and girls. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that was, uh, thanks for mentioning that, DK. That was a fun time, just live, spur of the moment. And it, it worked out well. I think Dude, I have it, it was crazy. I was watching it on a 10 foot screen and it was like, what, two in the really? afternoon or something like that. And yeah. I was just like, go, 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 go. And the text messages, man, it was so cool because I just remember watching you like get dialed in. If, you, if can you put a full screen and just get towards like about 130k? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for right now. I, I'm at. Uh, let's see, where where would that be off grid? Oh, geez, I. Halfway through. Probably. It's yeah. It's, 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 I it's yeah. Towards it's, the end, I'm gonna look for it's it. Fairly deep. Is yeah, it, I know. Okay. I gave up. Gave up after that game because I figured there's no way I was gonna match it again. Not live. Well, there's seventy-eight thousand. Hey, Tez, thanks so much for hanging out, bro. Appreciate you. Oh, look at Tez. Hey, Tez. There's 87,000. This is live, right? Yeah, this was live. This one was take, just, right? One take, live, no on edits? the fly. No edits. That's amazing. And you know, one of the coolest parts here is is he was he only had one guy left. Right? There it is. It's on. Oh, let me full screen me. Hold, hold on, guys. 
How do I do that? Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Let me go back down here. I think it's this one right here. There yeah. we go. Can you see it? Yeah, I was I was down to one guy at one point. I'm thinking this is going nowhere. Did you happen to watch some tips or tricks from somebody? Is that what happened? Because there was a guy that I, I stumbled across recently. And uh, I saw a couple of his tips and tricks and it really inspired me to try Donkey Kong. And I'm sure after watching you, I also tried Donkey Kong. Yeah. What was your final score off grid on this one take? Donkey Kong I, play. I believe it was 140,400, if I so remember So you're coming correctly. up on the end right here. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Let me turn the sound up. Four, oh, three. I was itching my nose. Yeah, because there it oh, is. Did you see that? He was yeah. parking on the ladder, and I was itching my nose. Got 132,000 right now. I'm calling. There's, that's got to be some kind of foul. I don't think that is a legal Donkey Kong maneuver. You burn someone's head while they are scratching their head. What is your heart racing at this moment? It has uh, to be. Yeah, I, I don't know. I know from talking to DK shortly after this, I think he was more excited than I was because I was trying to focus on the moment. DK, my hammer expires. He cut. He he called me up and he's like, "Dude, this is crazy. I'm watching this on the ten foot screen." Maybe I should, I'm like, oh, maybe I should point uh -oh. press. Oh, I got 34. Oh, you barely oh, missed that guy. Close. I don't know. Must have singed his hand. Nice. And you got your bonus of 3,800. Oh, by the way, guys, Papa Brad had a, an amazing game on Donkey Kong. When are you going to, dude, I want to see the whole footage, bro. That was a 300. That was a good game. Yeah, what was it? 360 something? Or? Papa That's Brad said he played it bro. on Mikey J's machine or something like that. Was that right, Papa Brad? You let me know. I'll put it up. Already having, look at this. Look at, this. Look at the wild barrel. barrel. Here comes oh, the fireball. The fireball. Oh, he just go, 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 go. So Coming up before him. Nice. That was smart. smart. He he I'm waited already there. having anxiety for the. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the elevator level that apparently is not going to happen. And that was great. Oh. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank though. you, OGA. Yeah. Yeah, oh god! What a great job you did. I was already stressing the next level, and then I didn't make it. Oh. It was that wild barrel that hit you. That was a good game. That was yeah. a real good game. Did you give up after that one? I did. I, I, I yeah. knew I wouldn't match that. Uh, let me see. I got to answer a question here in the chat. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Team, Team Pandori asked, are y'all playing these with monitors rotated? What's your ideal setup? That's Ideally, true. I would play with it rotated. And I do have a mount that is rotatable, but it's kind of a pain because you got to get out of it and get back in. And so I just kind of blow it up in OBS and resize it so it fits on my streaming. But, uh, and then when I play by myself, I just leave it full screen uh, with the bezel. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and there's Papa Brad's score. And everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, yep. G. Parker? Can you do a score like that? No. No, <laughs> I won't even hesitate. No, no. <laughs> Look, it's Kimber time, everybody! Kimber time is in the house! Hello. Look at Kimber time! Hello, Say everybody. hello to everybody! Hi. How are you? I'm enjoying like watching time you guys over play the Donkey Kong. Yes. I used to have one of the little portable consoles of the Donkey Kong. The little blue one, right? The By little Kalinka. blue one, and I would look play that for... You want to look up there. I would, That's the camera. I would play that for hours in the car, at home. Oh, is it the one that Off Grid is holding? Look at Off Grid. Yes, yes. Do you see that? You see it? You see it? Is you it can that see one? It right there. Mm -hmm. That's the one, right? Yeah, that's that's the one. That's My, the right mine there. is missing the the battery. Um, <laughs> the battery, you know, that holds the battery. That's like eighty. That's like every kid's toy in the eighties, you know, with the battery. You're missing the cover, right? It's like horrible, and you can put like duct tape on there and stuff like that. Yes, so I still have mine though. It's awesome. I love that thing. Yeah, my batteries are dying, and I need new. Yep, I need new stickers. One. Is that one that you could plug into? Uh, 
Yeah. I'm not as good as um, DK G73, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Off Grid had a great score. Here's Papa Brad's <laughs> score on the screen. That, Papa Brad, if that's yours, that's unbelievable. I couldn't even come close to that. I'm trying to beat Monica, and she's at 104 or something. And I can't, I, well, without not being on camera, I, I can barely beat that. That's really a good score. Really a good score. Yeah, I could, I could probably make that 400. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you guys yeah. want to hear something cool? You guys want to hear a cool story? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going right. to punch in some of our contestants while you tell the story, okay? Fantastic. So here's the deal. Um, Obviously, I, I, if you all watch King of Kong, I mean, it's like, it's amazing, right? I mean, yeah, it's it's one of the, to me, one of the greatest documentaries ever. And I'm a huge fan of Steve Weeby. And um, about a week and a half ago, I actually reached out to Steve Weeby on his channel. You can oh, wow. actually go to Steve Weeby's channel and see this for yourself. But I reached out to him and talked to him and let him know I was doing a, a charity stream. And, and I was telling him, you know, like 80% of the time I can get past third elevators. And he explained to me, how to beat third elevators. I was practicing the other day. I got over 200,000, didn't uh -huh. die. Um, yeah. And uh, so yeah, on the live stream later on in March, I'm gonna go for 500K. I, I think I'm, I'm gonna do it. Third third elevators was my real Achilles. Um, but yeah, so Steve so, Weedy, man, I reached out to him and he got back to me and he basically told me everything I needed to know to get 500K. Did you send so him like good. a link to one of your videos? Cause you played Donkey Kong on your channel before. Yeah, he actually, he actually, he, uh, he actually told me, uh, great game, yada, yada, yada. He went to a couple of my videos. The whole deal, man. It was such a cool guy, man. You know, I mean, awesome. how, how cool. cool was that, right? So that's, cool. That's amazing. All right, you know, so. No, go ahead, guys. Oh, I was Don't just going to say, it. you know, going back to, you know, what uh, what OJ did and then what Papa Brad did. This is the, the cool thing about the Retro Family. We can we can celebrate these kind of awesome you know events that we have that occur, and some of them just show up on the fly, right? I mean, a lot of these aren't scripted, and I think that's so cool. You know, I mean, there, yeah. Go ahead, G Parker. No, I'm just saying this is great. <laughs> Unbelievable. What did you say your score was, DKLG? Well, I've gotten 309 on a 61. Um, Papa Brad's got like 360. That's uh, pretty good. That's I mean, that, like I said, that's that's amazing. I, I kind of think. Go ahead. I, I, anything I was just above say. what score, DKOG? Yeah. You were about to say. Oh, I, I think anything over anything over like 150k because most people can't get past third elevators. And by the way, OGA, now that you've gotten past third elevators, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you up after the after the stream. I'm gonna talk with you about what Steve Weeby told me. But bro, you're totally on the way to whatever score you want. Excellent. 140K, Excellent. you got it. Are you gonna give him yeah. some tips? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all I was gonna say is I was gonna throw in, it's kind of a relatable story to what you just said with the Steve Weeby, because I was watching, you know, I, I play Donkey Kong, I do okay, I think. And I was watching and I saw this dude playing on YouTube and he got 309,000. And then a couple of months later, that dude called me on the phone one day. And this dude was, his name was uh, DKOG73. And I was just <laughs> floored with this guy. I watched him play Donkey Kong and now I'm texting him and he's calling me on the phone. And now, nah, but yeah, I had the same, same kind of feeling. Cause I didn't I know, know that guy. D I didn't know DK at the time. And I watched him play it. Just, I was amazed with your playing thinking giving me something to shoot for here this guy is good and uh, next thing you know you know we're buddies and we're talking on the phone and we're sending text messages and kimber is sitting there saying wow he's as nuts as you are dude and <laughs> it's, it's it's you know it's and unless you've experienced all the like what g parker was saying earlier right team yeah. pandori they did that for me you guys i want you to understand no. the very first bro team pandori i see you in the in the chat there yep. he's there dude i just want to i want to give you like public massive props bro you're the very first channel oh that 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 that, that came and, and and you you spotlighted my channel man and it and it like i i mean do you remember when that happened we were, at, yeah. we were at your parents house yeah. and i'm like I'm like looking at my phone, I'm like, oh my gosh, you see like another subscriber, another subscriber, right? And, I, and that was when you're pretty new. Too, yeah. Oh when yeah, I when I first started. And you know, you get all these positive vibes and they're addicting. 
Yeah, I mean, I, you guys tell me. What do you guys think? I mean, would you would you get all these awesome comments? I mean, what does it do for your day? It you know blows I mean? you away. It gives you that feeling of, wow, I am part of something amazing. It makes me want to play the Cantina song. It Papa really Brad. does. Papa Thanks. Brett has a good point. He said uh, uh, DK's <laughs> Robotron playing is impressive. Yeah. I'll put Wait, that up right a, here. Wait, there's a message here from Kelly. What does she say back here? Kelly. Wait, 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 oh, wait. Right here. Is DK's Jamas the same as Off Grids? Oh, that's a good question. Do you have my, my the pajamas? Same, uh, competition sticking on that? Are you talking about my, my pajamas or, or my. Uh... <laughs> Not oh, his jamas. Do you are. really? Yes. Nice. Look at that. You have to stand up. Totally not planned. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is the best yeah. part show, about. Show, show. This is the best part about being on the Wait a show, minute. Right? No way. way. <laughs> I gotta get a pair of those. Hey, real quick. I don't know if you guys saw it, but Retro <laughs> Man Randy Savage was just in there and said he had to get back to bed. Just want to make sure you knew. I wear my pajama oh, pants. Retro <laughs> Man Randy Savage uh, is in the chat room. He's got to take off. But it is Yo. really good to see Retro Man Randy Savage. His shoes are incredible. His channel is amazing. Uh, let me bring on another special guest right now. It's somebody we all know. He's on Hoth right now. Nice. Please say hello, hello to everyone. Mike and aloha. Cibis. How are you? Mike aloha. Cibis. How aloha, are you? brother. Hello, I'm Mike. Great, guys. Hey, Retro family. You. What have you been up to? Mike Seavey. Uh, oh, I just picked up my son from his martial arts class, so I'm He's back. He's been traveling to Hoth. It's a yes. long drive. Yeah, oh, but he went hyperspeed. <laughs> the Empire's got Starlink, so I'm good. You're on Hoth? Oh, go ahead. Uh, I said the Empire's got Starlink, so I'm good. Starlink. Off Grid knows all about that. What shirt That's are you right. wearing, Off Grid? Yeah, uh, his background's awesome. I, I got my Star Wars hood hoodie on, but I do. Well, I'm cheating. I got Blue Origin shirt on. Uh, nice. my, son, my son works at, at, the, at the <laughs> SpaceX, but my daughter works at Blue Origin, so I got to switch up the shirts. So we're all here. We uh, we got some giveaways, and I would like DKOD to start with the first giveaway. Let's get him on the main screen. And Kimber Time, right next to DKOG73. This is an honor to do Spin the Wheel. Where is that first prize? Where's it at? Well, here, let me ask the community. We got a bunch of bunch of prizes here. We've got a uh, we got a PS4 Shantae. Hey. We got a big huge Y. I didn't know about that. One. You guys that? Okay. So this is uh, courtesy of uh, Retro Games and More. Uh, they're... Retro Games and More. Yeah, they're like, You're not hey, in front of the wanna, mic. I got to be able to hear wanna, you. We want to Wait, get in front of the mic again, movie. DK. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here, I'll just hold it. It's all good, man. We're like the Sandlot, right? But, you know, in this, if you watch the Sandlot, those kids have a great time, man. Um, right here, Shantae, PS4. It's kind of cool, right? Thank you, Retro uh, Games and More, man. Appreciate it. Um, awesome. The more, the more we get to spin the wheel, the That's better, so right? Cool. So we've got this. We've got a, uh, a Neo Geo. Oh, uh, yes. That's the Mini, right? That's the Mini. And then uh, we've got the NES Classic, right? Nice. Yeah, yeah. And then um, we got a big, a big boy right here. Oh. There you go, Mike CDs. Look at that. Uh, the Empire is letting me use their internet. So this is the uh, dad game. <laughs> this is what we picked up at uh, Sam's Club. Remember all the I love like, that. I love yeah, that. That's nice. It was like sixty-five bucks, man. So I thought, you know what? And then when I was watching the reviews on it, and yeah. uh, a long time ago, I actually talked with. Uh, Papa Brad about it. He was telling me he's like, dude, it's a great little, it's a great system. Here. So I was like, 65 bucks. I brought it home. I, I watched a bunch of reviews, and then I was like, you know, let's just give it away, right? Like, because these things are normally like 100 bucks or 120 bucks. But that's got to be the know. last thing we give away then tonight. Well, that is this the big or the prize. NES Classic. So what I was gonna say was, let's let the community decide. We got a 50 dollar Amazon gift card. What? Yeah, we got a 50 dollar Amazon gift card, <laughs> and uh, I can't yeah. believe this. So what you? Everyone in the chat, I keep looking over here because I know. I'm on a 60 inch TV right here in front of me, oh. so I keep looking over here. But, um, oh, actually, what do you I guys see you in the mirror. You can see the mirror behind you. Oh, yeah. And I can see the TV. That's the behind the scenes right there. Literally behind the scenes. And look, on above that mirror is an out of time 
license plate, which I believe Mike Seabees, you have the exact same license plate in your house, do you not? Yes, it's in the arcade room. It's so funny. DKOG73 and Mike Seabees Gaming HQ, they have been uh, connected for quite a while. Mike Seabees has a Nintendo controller hat. DKOG73 (laughs) has a Nintendo controller hat. You guys are very well connected, not only with just stuff in your room, but the gameplay. Don't you two play live some of those really good next generation games? Mike Seabees, what games do you play with DKOG73? Uh, I played with him uh, Left 4 Dead 2. That was a good game. And then Back for Blood and Call of Duty and Destiny 2. Really good times. Yeah. Is it like you're on a team together? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, most of the time, yes. Awesome. When's the last time you guys did that? Oh, shoot. Maybe two weeks ago, I think. We're due. Yeah, you're due for another match. You really are. (laughs) And uh, with this platform, this, this thing that we're using, you guys can stream this live. We can watch it live. It would be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. All right. So back to the giveaway. DKOG, take it away. So what? Well, so I'm, I'm just. Um, yeah, I want to present this to the community. What do you guys want to spend first? Amazon, Neo Geo let's, Mini. Let's let the retro blitz guy pick. Mr. G Parker's Arcade. What shall we give away first? Well, <laughs> Farrell wants the big blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be the big yeah. blue. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, it. he can't have that. Well, I did hear, I did hear Retro Arcade Music Man say that that uh, at games controller probably ought to be the last thing. We ought to, we, ought, we need a I big agree. finale here. So th- that's my that's my vote to give give that away. But I would say let's let's just go with the. If you're asking me, I'd say go with a gift card. All right, I like it. Sounds, sounds like a good plan. <laughs> yep, sounds good. Fifty dollars right. Amazon gift right. card. You will get it tonight. Everything else will be shipped out. Team Pandora has to get going, so we're gonna. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, see you, Pandora. You know, Team Pandora. Yeah, he's got such a great channel, and he's yes. been doing these uh, top greatest video games. Check out Team Pandora if you haven't done that. Uh, let's get it done. In fact. Uh, Normally, I've got mods that put that stuff in the room for us, so if anybody's available, please do that. I'm just checking my wheel, guys. I want to make sure I have every name on here that I need on here. But in the meantime, the first prize, tell us all about it, DK, and then I'm going to check my names here. $50 gift card? Yeah, $50 Amazon gift card. Get yourself. What can we buy with that? Well, let's ask, uh, what would you get, uh, OGA, with a $50 Amazon gift card? What would I get with a $50 Amazon gift card? Oh, man, that's a tough question. Uh, Video game-wise, <laughs> not new pajamas. Right, right. Yeah, I, I would get some new pajamas. I'd have to sync up with DKOG, though, before I bought them. Yeah. Get some Pac-Man pajamas. Pac-Man pajamas. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Because um, I've been buying a lot of stuff to try to get, you know, like microphones and stuff to try to get going on. But, uh, hey, UAG's in the house. Uh, hey, yeah. UAG, hey, bro. UAG, man. UAG, is he's in the house? No. Hey, no. U- UAG. Nemesis, G Parker. U- U- UAG, uh, <laughs> you want to play a little pinball, pinball. there, Sonny? Sonny? G- G- hey, Parker Sonny. And UAG play pinball. Yes, that one time. That was a fun Star Wars gameplay. I really enjoyed that. Hello, UAG. So nice Hello. to have you in here. <laughs> Let's all say hi to UAG. In that's fact, my, that's my brother from another hey, mother. Hey, Hello, UAG. Right Hold on. Let me Weekly. Say hi. Let me say hi. Oh, please. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Oh. Oh. There oh. it is. There it is. <laughs> right here, baby. What I'm talking about, bro. I appreciate you, man. The weekly retro party is amazing. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. All right. Yes. I got Good the times. wheel. I'm ready to go. Hey, make sure Papa Brad's on there. He just he, he put it in the Brad, chat. He yeah. said, hey, make sure I'm on the wheel. Cool. The knowledge of Papa Brad is unbelievable. Whenever I, I have a question about a game or something, Papa Brad knows it like he sleeps with the knowledge. It's unbelievable. Papa Brad does a great job. And by the way, Papa Brad's part of the iArcadian show. 
That's on, I believe, Thursday nights at uh, what time? 5.30? It's oh, it depends on the time. 4.30 Pacific. 7.30 Eastern, I believe. 7.30 so, Eastern, yeah. Yeah. Another show that I watch. Absolutely. Great show. Okay, let me get this wheel up, guys. Here we go. First prize. Let's see. How do I do this? How many people oh, do we have on the wheel just out of curiosity? Okay. So, uh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up so you guys can watch it. Okay, push this little button over here. Did that wrong. Oh, I hear my echo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. Hold on, guys. Live, live stuff here going on. Ah, uh, there we go. You got it. See it? Yeah. Anybody? Want to full screen that? Just get full screen that bad boy. Full screen it. Yep. Yeah, I'll full screen it right now. There we go. Oh, that was my full screen, not that. Drag this over here. There we go. Huh? Wow. So how many nice. people do we have on that wheel? So I want to say there are 17 entries. I'm going to try to blow this up a little bit for us. See if I can't get it a little bit bigger. Huh, guys? You with me? All right, we're going to... Yeah. Nice. Okay. See how it's bigger now? Perfect. You want to blow it up a little bit more? Can you blow it up more? Absolutely. Okay. There it is. Absolutely. Spring a little bit to your left or your right. Oh, there you go. That's that's uh, much better. There we go. That's nice. This is Kimber time approved right here. <laughs> Kim, Kimber tides on the on the list. Yeah. She said, "Play it forward." Oh, why am I? I'm on there. You're on the list. You can't be on the list. <laughs> I, you guys can, if if I if I get it, you can just. We'll, we'll spin it spin again. again. again we'll spin again. Yeah. There she is. She's going by the ticker right now. I don't, need, right to, now. I don't it, need to be on there. Uh, you know what? I think after everybody wins, we need to do the wave. G Park, are you ready to do the wave? <laughs> <laughs> we did it so well that. last time. I would love yeah. to see that. I didn't know I okay. was on the wheel. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to spin it. Do it. Ready? Spin it. We are spinning the wheel. Nice. The retro wheel of prizes. The winner is Tony Tripoli. Tony Tripoli. Way to go, Tony. We I, won, uh, he won last time, won dude. last time, too. He's lucky. Dude, I need to take that guy to, with me to Vegas, man. Yes, yeah, no kidding. Kid. That guy <laughs> knows positive energy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's Tony Tripoli, congrats, bro. Congratulations, bucks. Tony. So that's our first prize. Should we do another one? Can we? Yeah, let's do another one. Yeah, We're 32 fun. minutes in, guys. You guys want to do a Neo Geo? Ooh, the Neo the Geo mini? is awesome. A little metal slug action, right? Nice. Let me, let me pull you up the KOG so you can show everybody right. their prize. Yeah, here we go. Check it out here. I'm there it is. In real hard here. I just want Tell to us do... about the Neo Geo. What's oh. on this thing? It's a cool what is it? Of... Whoa. Let me just show you real quick. Let me actually just show you guys. Can I, you? Uh... Yeah, oh, yeah. I've got, uh, I've got it right here. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So this is it. This thing you Yeah, and then there's a little control. Uh, this is what it looks like. Thank you, Kimber. We can see that. Is cool Bubble part, Bobble on that game, Kimber time? You know I, have, I have to look on the box. Um, but the coolest part about this is that it's a fully functioning miniature console, right? But on the right. back side, it's got HDMI out. So you can basically oh. set it to your TV, and then it's got your controller port so that you can do two players on both sides. So a controller there, and a controller port there. And the Neo controllers that come with it are very similar to the Neo Geo CD. But I mean, you're talking about Metal Slug, you're talking about um, Go Rail Mark of the Wolves, King of Fighters. I mean, the list of amazing games is just goes on and on and on. So that's true. And we're I about want to it. Give it away to one I, I person. I'm impressed with it. I think I want it. I, I didn't see your name in the comments, G. Parker's Arcade. G. Parker's going to quick go no. leave a comment on his own video. <laughs> I, 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 I want it. <laughs> yeah, real so quickly, cool. I want to comment what UAG is saying about the laundromat games. It's so true about Neo Geo, man. Here in California, at the, at the laundromat, yeah. it's like there's always a Neo. You know, I mean, I just maybe they do it because there's four games. I don't, but it, I, we see them everywhere, man. That whole Neo Geo laundromat conversation is definitely up for another show. And you know what? 
I do random live streams from time to time. I think I'm going to save it for that moment because that was a great conversation I saw and heard, and it's been going on for a couple weeks now over on UAG's channel. So yeah, yeah, we definitely want to talk stuff. about it. It's good <laughs> it stuff. It really is. It's so entertaining. Love it. Check out Spin UAG. He's got quality content. It's good stuff. Who will win the Neo Geo Mini? Get ready to clap, guys. G. Parker. Oh, John. John Pitner. John, nice, John. John Pitner. Congrats. Congrats, John man. You got yourself Pitner. a Neo Geo. Congratulations. All right, ready? We got to do the wave. Let's do the wave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I'm last, get, right? Well, we got to okay. get it back to where. Oh, wait. Okay. So, so it goes me, off grid, Mike CBs, G Parkers, and then DKOG and Kimberton. Ready? Yep. Here, ready. here we go. Let's do go! it. <laughs> <laughs> off grid. I guess froze. the uh, delay on oh, Hall. OG is like stoic, right? <laughs> absolutely still <laughs> Mike, you gotta be ready for the next wave. All right, all ready? right. I'm ready. Go! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Woo! There we go. All right, all right. We are pros now. We got this. Okay. You don't next see this up, anywhere OG else. is still frozen, right? And you know, <laughs> this is the best part. Like normally, like I think a lot of YouTubers would be like, oh my gosh. One of the guys is frozen. No, man, it adds to the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it frozen. Adds, it adds some comedy value. It is it. pretty cold on Hoth. I just want to mention that right now. It, it really is. It is. It's, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike CBs, do you have a video coming out pretty soon? That's what I'm hearing. On the horizon, you've got something coming out on your channel? Uh, Just for the Star Trek pinball. That'll be the next one. So, pinball star trek on your channel will it be yep. what version of it will you be playing the uh steam the, or... the stern version oh so the actual stern yep yeah machine yes you have one or where no did you no one? i went to the arcade uh, over at the mall my small mall <laughs> that has just a few games there isn't that something guys the, the days of arcades are dwindling. And when we can find an arcade in our little hometown, it really is something special. If we had to take you back to the very first time you ever walked into an arcade, think about that. And we have a row of machines and the sounds and the smell, and you're jingling with quarters in your pocket, and you're about to play some memories. G. Parker's Arcade, tell us about the first time you remember playing in an arcade. Oh my goodness. You know, for me, and, and I, I just want to respond real quick to UAG there. He says I'm in another time zone. He's right, because, uh, you know, this is going to be a date back, way back story, because uh, as UAG knows, I'm a card carrying uh, AARP member. Yes. Uh, if I could Proud. find my card here, I'd show it. So, because that's <laughs> that's kind of a little standing joke between himself and UAG and myself. But no, I, I'll tell you what. Um, I grew up in, in an area that had a uh, shopping district, uh, just right down the street from it. Ride our bicycles down there. It was kind of neat. Grocery store, movie theater, and a bowling alley. And um, for a long time, you know, it was just bowling. Uh, matter of fact, we as kids didn't go in there that much. Uh, you know, later on, we did. But uh, at that time, you just didn't go in there that much. And then all of a sudden, we heard that they had added a room in the bowling alley full of arcades. Because I think they realized per square foot they could make more money at quarters than they could at bowling. And uh, so that's my first memory of walking into this. They opened this big room up. And of course, uh, back then, no LED, a lot of flashing incandescent lights. No. Uh, but I just, I'll, I'll never forget, it was kind of like uh, back then, you know, people didn't want their kids going to do that kind of stuff. I mean, if you study up the history of pinball, you know, it was outlawed. And uh, it was kind of gave you the feeling that you were somewhere where you weren't supposed to be. You know, you took your uh, your pop bottles down to the local uh, Rebellia store, which happened to be a local liquor store where they'd give you two or three cents a bottle. You'd turn those in, you'd find them on the street, you'd gather up as many as you could just to get a few quarters, but then you'd kind of sneak into that arcade and 
you know, it was like being in a dirty bookstore or something. You know, it was like, uh, but but it was so much fun. It was just, and it smelled. Oh, and that's the other thing. It smelled, you know, like today. There's no smoke anywhere. It smelled of cigarettes. Oh, but it was yeah. just fun. It was Remember just the fun. heat that those CRTs would give off oh. those machines to? Some of yes. those arcades were hot. You know what yes. I'm talking about? Yes. Texas hot. Off grid. Yeah, yeah, they were. I'm telling and, you. And UAG's right. It was considered gambling, and yeah, UAG pointed that out, and they, they did. They, 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 and they said kids are wasting their money on this, and they're, they're gambling and trying to win free. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It is. It really is. So, what was the first game that you remember playing, G. Parkers? Remember the game? Oh my goodness! I'd have to say, you know. I'll tell you what, there, there actually was a, the one I can remember first was the, the Pong, you know, there was an arcade yeah. Pong. And, I remember but, that one. But it seems like, uh, you know, you guys mentioned, Don the, the big ones to me were Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. And then, and then of course, uh, I think I explained in one of my videos later on, though, my favorite all-time arcade game, Galaga. Just, Galaga is, is the game. You have a story on your channel about a restaurant and they had that Galaga machine and it was it was getting redone or something like that or somebody bought it out what was that oh some, some the, the restaurant was there for years and my old neighborhood uh went up there as the kids were growing up i'd take them up there to eat get a sandwich we'd play Galaga i, I probably put uh, a ton of quarters in that machine and uh the restaurant uh, ended up closing down and it was uh, finally on Facebook that, that I saw from that community. They said, that, oh, the place is reopening. It's just called Paul's Burgers. And uh, really? so the guy said, uh, hey, uh, anybody got any questions about what I'm going to do with the restaurant? I'm going to try to keep it as original. And I said, uh, where's your Galaga machine? And, and he, he responded back. He says, oh, it's there, but it's not working. And I said, well, if it's not, I used to go there. I, I, I'd, I'd buy it from you. And he says, uh, he, got, he finally wrote me back. And he says, I got so many people telling me that they wanted that Galaga machine. So he's fixing it and he's going to keep it there. He's not going to sell it. Oh, that would have been a great memento to have from that place. It really would have. But I'm going to do a video. I'm, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to go down there and play that machine and I'll take uh, the unknown gamer with me so he can video it. And I'll do some, <laughs> I'll go down there and, and video that and uh, put that on my channel. As soon as I, I would can. love to see that. I would love to see it. We all love Galaga. We all love video games. And you know what's funny about YouTube and, and, and this retro community that we have? When I get to watch somebody, it doesn't matter who, but when it's one of our family members, play a game, whether it's MW Games or Papa Brad's Gaming or UAG or Pandora's Team, when I get to watch that, it, it warms my heart. I'm telling you. The fact that we live in a world where video games are part of our lives and some of these great retro games are part of my life, I really enjoy it. I could just put it on for hours and watch someone play Galaga for hours. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but do, it's yeah. something about gaming and retro gaming that I just love. And that's one of the reasons why I started my channel. So it's really nice to be part of this family the retro family and look where we are now we're here we're all gathered here we're gonna make a difference we are here to feel the difference and DKOG 73 has got something big on the horizon would you like to talk about that sir sure yeah so you got a, got two little uh, uh, I wouldn't call it a little we, we got a couple of cool surprises so the first uh, the first surprise is as you uh, May, you, some of you may know we've got another channel called Plant Ford, and the reason I created uh, two separate channels was so that we could have all the Plant Ford stuff on one channel, and we can have all right. the gameplay stuff on DKRG73, right? And um, but you know, I was I was thinking last night I was watching uh, I was actually watching Easy E. <laughs> I'm a huge nice. NWA fan back in the day. I know yes. that sounds crazy, right? Uh, but I was uh, I was I was watching it and. Um, and I was thinking, you know what we need to do? We need to have like, you know, we, we kind of joke around and call each other rock stars. And I thought, you know what we should do? We should do this thing called the Retro Family Rock Stars. And, and I'm gonna be the first person to do it. And you okay. guys let me know what you guys think. But here's the deal. I need the first 10 people to go over to Play It Forward, my new channel. All you gotta put 
in the comments on, on the latest video or any video you want is the retro the retro family playing it oh, what am I gonna put it uh, uh play it forward retro yeah retro family rock stars play it forward there you go okay retro yeah Ooh, that could retro be family rock stars play it forward say that five times in a row I know but right what, what I'm I gotta gonna get a drink first yeah what I'm gonna do is before um before uh when, when I get back from Vegas the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble that group of names I'm gonna go on your channel I'm gonna find some some content and I'm gonna yeah. basically create like a, a a really cool little montage of 10 youtubers and but a lot of people do that right but here's what I want to do I want if you're all interested you all can rip that video down from DKOG 73 and put it all on your channel so let me give you an example let's pretend that I build a video it's got 10 people in it and you know what happens 12 people go and rip that video and put that out we just sent that you know we just sent 10 people to 12 different channels that's exposure and that's that's the new thing that I'm gonna be putting together when I get back from Vegas it's called the, the retro family rockstar so if you all want to be a part of that head over to play it forward just go to my latest video right the, the 50 minute video for last week I just got it right there. there right there yep. on the room boom play there it, it forward right there 10 it's people in the chat as well the first 10 if, if your game I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, a cool video and and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna blast it we're gonna blast it everywhere right it's just so like much we fun. did this week right we're gonna blast it out so we're gonna blast 10 people at the same time how cool is that that is awesome. way cool I'm so that's excited awesome. that's awesome so that's, that's fun. very that's cool very cool thing we're doing I've got one more thing to announce but I'll wait until a little bit later in the show should we spin a wheel then we should, we should spin a wheel. Let's are we doing uh, the ad games or are we doing the NES Classic? Uh, off grid. Make a choice. Let us I, I, I say save the NES for last. Save the that. NES for last. There you go. There's your choice. That Let's NES, that are hard to come by. And if you're yeah, a collector, that's... keep going, OJ. Yeah. What are we going to say, brother? No, I was just saying. I was just gonna say the same thing you just said. It, that's a that's a serious prize right there. It's a hard thing to get, and and it's a good prize. Not that the at games isn't also, but I personally think, yeah, I do the at games first, and then the NES. Okay, because that just NES show you guys how is cool almost the like the real is. deal. Okay. This is oh, the this is the Legends Gamer right here. It's it's amazing, and we're gonna give one of these away in March. Oh. I see a trackball. Yeah, in March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trackball, the whole deal. And this how thing, many games? Uh, it comes stock with 150, but it's also got the coin ops X. We're gonna be giving. This is gonna be part of our wow. big giveaway next, you know, in March. That's that's one of those uh, that you can add your own games if you want to, if you want to add some right. some of your own stuff. That's pretty easy to do. That's that a right cool there. Prize. That right, right there is what I scored 140,000 points in Donkey Kong on. One of those oh, Legends. So you did it on Pro. that? On the Legends yeah. Gamer Pro, yeah. It and plays oh, nice. great. I mean, it, it, the, the emulation on the Coin Ops X is, is flawless. I mean, it's really Zero good. Zero lag and all that good stuff. It's awesome. Zero lag. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So, Gamer so. Time is, is holding the, uh, the prize for everybody. This has got everything from Growl, Space Invaders, right? Wreck It Ralph. I love it. Right, we were playing. In fact, my buddy Non came over earlier, and we were we were hanging out playing some uh, Growl. If you've never played Growl before, it's awesome. I played it like once, a, but Growl is an awesome game on this. Did growl you say Growl? Yeah, it's called Growl. It's like Indiana Jones, basically. It's amazing. I want to point out. Time played Growl. <laughs> They're asking if you played Growl. No, she hasn't played yet, but we're we're gonna we're gonna play Future tonight, video. actually. Yeah. Future but, video. I wanted okay. to point out something. Can I point out something about that uh, At Games product? Uh, one of the things that's cool about it is you can actually just, if you don't want it, you can use the puck and the games that come with it, but you can actually hook that up with a USB cable to your Raspberry Pi or other gaming things and just use it as a controller like a fight stick. So right. it, it has that capability too. You don't even have to, you can use it for whatever you want. It's, uh, I have. I have the mini and the one he's got there, and they're, they're both great. They work That's great. That's right. You've got the ultimate pro, don't you? Well, I've got three. Yeah, I've got the ultimate the the ultimate uh, cabinet, and then I've got the uh, gamer pro, and then the gamer mini. So I've actually got three of their products. And they, but the thing I love about it the most is, I'll tell you what, I use it on my res the uh, the uh, 
Gamer Pro on my Raspberry Pi. It's a great two-stick fight stick for the Raspberry Pi. That's nice. a real customer right there, guys. That's I just awesome. want to chime in real quickly. Real quickly. This is so important. Um, this is why I say when I get, when I grow up, I want to be just like G Parker, right? I want you all to think about this for a Wait, second. Wait, you want to be man. old? Is that you want to be old? You want know an AARP card. <laughs> You're living life on your terms, bro. And you have, you know, know you, you have your beautiful wife. You have you have a wonderful life, you, you, you know, and, and you're doing the things in life that you want to do. Time, most people, you know, they we all trade our time for dollars, right? But to, right. to have that time to, to, to do the things you love and to be able to have you on the show and, and to be able to, dude, I'm, I'm watching you talk about, you know, connecting this to a Raspberry Pi. And I think, man, that is so cool. I mean, is that cool, you guys? What do you guys think? Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. He's got all day to do it, though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't seem to get work. <laughs> all right, look. We got to spin. We got to spin. Right, let's spin. Ready? Ready? Chaos on the chat. It says, spin. That's my brother. That's my brother. <laughs> UAG says, That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clicking it. He is. For He's my man. the Legends Gamer Mini. Let's do Who it. Who will win this? Get ready to applaud. Oh, Tez. Way to go, Tez. Tez, 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 Tez. You know what? That's so cool. That's so cool. Tez, you got it. Tez is out there. Ooh, where's he at? The shipping might be a little bit for this one there. Is, is little Tez bit in the on UK? That one, DK. Is Tez in the UK? Tez is in the UK. Wow. Tez is okay. out there, isn't he? Well, you know, it's going to be another Amazon deal, so we'll be giving another one of those because I'm not going to ship it for like 200 bucks. <laughs> well, that means we have a future mini to give away in the I don't future. Know if you all, yeah, I don't know if you all caught this on, the last, uh, on our last episode, but it was like, MW Games won the NES and it was like 200 bucks and he lives in like this remote village somewhere in Wales. It's crazy. Tez says, no way. Congrats, bro. Tez, where are we shipping this? Congrats. Where are you? Where is Tez? Gamers Effect says, I brought Tez to the retro community. That's awesome. Thank you, Gamers Effects. Honestly. This family keeps growing, and it's because of people like Gamers Effects that brings more people into this retro family. Thank you, sir. Tez said he's in the UK. So do your magic, DKOG73. I got yep. time. Do you want? Do you, I got time. Do you want me to drive it over there? <laughs> <laughs> you do that. <laughs> Well, apparently Mike CB had time to drive from the planet Hoth to Jabba's palace. Yeah. So if yeah, you know, that far, yeah Jabba's having a party, so I, I have to hang out with him. <laughs> That's really good, the Star Wars theme. That's really good. I like it. It's awesome. Do you have any more? Well, you, you know have any what? more Mike CBs? Hold on. Does oh. Mike CBs have any other Look backgrounds? Because back. I would love to see one. Hold sure, on, okay. I got one more. Let's see this one, because usually he's got three or four. If you guys watched the last episode, <laughs> nice there. What's you, Victor Vector? <laughs> Never call me Shirley. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Tez, this is the airplane we're gonna fly your mini to you in. So it, it might take a minute. It, it could, it could take awesome. a minute. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah, last time he had one with Poe on it, Mr. Poe style. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have that still. You still have yeah, that? I'll one? Up. Yeah, that? I'll, I'll pull it up. And he popped it up behind him right when Poe jumped into the stream. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it was perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> <There's> Poe <laughs> awesome. po makes an appearance. <laughs> so awesome. You're with us. Uh, that's really good. That, that's a good photo. Is that Dr. Evil? <laughs> <laughs> that's his angry face. <laughs> If you guys listen really closely, 
you can hear Mr. Postal. <laughs> nice. Right oh, we got this video up. <laughs> you hear Mr. Poe? We have po. a microphone in his house right now. <laughs> there he is. Poe, you are here in spirit, sir. We love you, and we are so glad you are part of this community. Really, honestly. <laughs> We gotta give it up for Poe, guys. Poe is so awesome. Poe! Let's do it! Poe! Thank you. Rambo Brandon says hello. Let me yes. turn off the uh, microphone for Poe. Thank you, Poe. Get back over here. Thanks, guys. Who says hi? Rambo? Rambo, Rambo Brandon. Brandon is with us right now. Hello! Welcome to our live stream. Welcome to the replay. Welcome to Making a Difference, and welcome to the Retro Family. We're glad to have you here. We're getting ready to, uh, what are we doing, another spin? Is this it? Yeah. We're about to do another We're about to do another spin, but I want to share one more quick thing with everybody. March 20th, we're going to go live um, okay. for at least six hours in this room with this camera angle. We're going to be okay. playing Big Blue for charity. And by the way, I played Bobby Boo the other night, and I got wrecked so hard. I've never been wrecked that hard in a game of Street Fighter in my life. That guy, he's got over like 4,000 wins, right, or something like that. And he's I have so it good. on video, too. Yeah, she's got it on video, man. It was like, it was such a beat down. I was like, oh, man. Then I came home and put it all up, and I was watching these guys play. I was watching, uh, I actually saw uh, Mike Paul trains in there. I watched these guys play. These guys are beasts. So they are. We are gonna be playing Street Fighter, Donkey Kong, and Pac-Man, Cyberball. We're gonna be playing a whole bunch of stuff. We'll have people coming in and out during the day, and that's where we—that's uh, where we're gonna—we're gonna raise—we're gonna raise some some money for Make a Wish, guys. That's really the goal, right? This is gonna... where everybody helps to make a difference. And so, are you going straight through, nonstop, marathon style, DKOG73? Yeah, I've called a bunch of um, friends and some people that, you know, we've done Halo parties with in the past. And, and, and I basically have people coming over about every hour or two hours. They're just going to come in, hang out. They want to play Street Fighter, we're going to play Street Fighter. They want to play Cyberball, they want to Donkey Kong, whatever. It's all for charity. We're going to have links and people can, you know, um, people can donate or, you know, just, just showing up and hanging out, helping build this channel. Because as we build DKOG73, as we build this, you know, play it forward the retro family as we all continue to help and elevate each other guys there's yeah. nothing that's going to stop us from being able to raise five ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars for charity whether it's make a wish wounded warrior whatever it is right and and as we as we continue to build this and grow this the community every month is going to vote on who we're going to help next who we're going to make a difference for next so that's that's my that's my big statement for everybody so you know just just know that on the on the march 20th it's going to be off the hook it's a sunday and i can't wait to do it we're going to have fun it's just going to be a blast you know if you need somebody else to come over if off grid could check his calendar behind him that would be great uh, see if he's available it looks like off grid is available on that day so make some room get some punch out right some Hawaiian punch. I'll be in England. <laughs> you gotta fly. Want to do your there. best Vanna White? Drop off Tez's prize. Put your arm Good for like you. This. There you go. Okay. Is this the last prize of the night? This is the big one. Actually, we're gonna do one more spin that we haven't done real quick. We're gonna do two in a row. And and this person who wins this, it does not come off the wheel. This is for our retro blitz. The retro family rock stars. I'm putting that together. Y'all want to share the video, great, right? But we still need to do a blitz. Who are we going to blitz, guys? We got to spin this wheel and find out who we're going to blitz. Are we doing the oh, blitz yeah. first or the NES? We're going to do the blitz first and we're going to do the NES last. So, guys, so, you know, we just did G Parker. I, bro, like I've always said, man, you're legit, you're real, you're a cool guy. And I'm, I'm glad we're going to do the blitz. And, is um, so authentic and amazing if you go to his channel he's willing to help you and and if you have questions about gaming or anything that he's knowledgeable about he's there for you and this guy knows a lot he's a retired writer 
Which, by the way, I thought was a writer for the longest and, time. But. And I, and I have and I'm wearing a tie tonight. I want you to know that I was uh, I, I dressed for the occasion. You got the beautiful tie and the hat. That's so nice. You got the suspenders going on. Look at that. Hey, we got Is that a we pinball. Got pinball supply. Nice. nice. We got nice. a couple people in the uh, chat we need to say hello to. Yes, Deer is in the house and the Drunk Gamer. The Drunk Gamer, one of my favorite live gamers. The Drunk yes. Gamer is here. Thank you for coming in, sir. That was awesome. His streams are We are, are spinning epic. for a blitz. Is that right? Yes, we're spinning for a blitz. We're going to do the same thing, you know, essentially that we did for uh, for G. Parker, for, for someone here on the wheel that's, that's you know, essentially planet forward right that's what it's all about so thank you everybody for showing up for planet forward for for, for heading over to g parkers and if you haven't headed over there yet go over there and give them some love right i mean it doesn't it doesn't stop it, it, it's you know these positive vibes it's a daily thing right i mean that's really i mean i like to give more than i receive and, and that's really what it's all about so um, here we go with the blitz let's the do blitz. it let's who are we gonna blitz Let's find out who we're blitzing with the Retro Blitz. Get ready for the applause and the energy because our winner is... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Retro Man. Oh, yeah. Nice work. Nice work. Retro Man Randy Savage. Big Savage. Let's talk about him. He is such a supporter of all of us if you throw a channel in front of him he's not only checking you out but he's responding he's responding to your replies and he's not just putting one or two words this guy writes out a paragraph on your channel this guy deserves a retro blitz i can't wait to make a video for this guy this guy is awesome yep. i agree you know what? he's so supportive he really is i mean he really no joke. is I mean, he'll go on a video and he'll leave three or four comments. I'm not even kidding. And, and, yeah. and you can and tell me sure watching ones. the whole video because he'll make a comment talking about something you did like in you know the first two minutes. He'll make another comment like six, seven minutes later, right? I know. And, and you know, and but it's not just and that's the thing. I don't know how many channels he's going to, but bro, thank you for supporting the retro family, man. I am so jacked out of my mind that you got this retro blitz because we're going to have some fun with this, bro. We got to be playing some wrestling, some WWF wrestling. Yeah, and he does a great job. Off Grid, whose link is that? Is that his link? That is, uh, yeah, that is Randy Savage's link. I did it again and go. put his name in there so there you we can go. see. Yeah, uh, like like you said, DK, he, he does. He, he will put five comments in your video because he's watching it and commenting as he goes. And if you say something at the end of your video, at the very end, and say, hey, say ooga booga in the chat he will do it <laughs> because he watched to the, to the end yeah snooch to the he's a big fan snooch of the kevin to smith the newt. so uh, yeah snoochy boochies yeah uh, yeah looks like we're picking up some time. subs already uag says sub so there we go let's keep let's get it going now, yeah. this guy this guy I, my, mike Seabees. he's been on your channel he's probably made comments on your channels too hasn't he Oh yeah, he's been on my channel lots of times watching me play, and he's always uh, commenting. Real supportive guy. Yeah, go check him out. Real great guy. So yeah. Yeah, he's so been on mine as well. So, shout yeah, out to another, James. He's another guy over in the UK also. So, and and that's another thing. He'll pop in to stuff when it's two o'clock in the morning his time, and he'll stay. If you're live, he'll stay. Uh, he wasn't able to stay tonight, unfortunately, but he did pop it's in. It's a little late, and this yeah, is just we, a scheduling thing. Normally, we're on four o'clock in the morning. He he popped in. He's a good guy. Yeah, Randy Savage. Tell somebody else about Randy Savage, so that they can sub to him too. We'll do a retro blitz. We'll talk about him. We won't forget about you. We got you. You got the retro blitz. Congratulations. Man, it's coming. Today. James King, thanks for subscribing to him. And uh, UAG said he's up to him also. So they're already getting them. Hello, my arcade. Welcome. It's just going to keep hey, growing, my arcade. guys. Right, now, so we we like want to remind uh, we want to remind yeah. people that they that now are they supposed to go and pick a video and say this pay it forward or are we doing that with him? Hey, so so check this out. Um. um I'm losing it live here. Oh my gosh, G Parker. Oh my gosh. For for some reason, I I was no, just. All right, so we're here. So, um, yeah. So it's play it forward, right? 
Pay it um, forward. But I like pay it forward too, right? I put those in the <laughs> I put those in the tags just in case people actually you know put it. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick a video. Should we do that right now, guys? Real quick before we do the last spin. Uh, yeah, we can. We can pick a video, sure. Uh, Let's but pick a video I just right now while we have everyone. Informed by Gamers Effects that Arcade Chaos needs one sub. And I'm wondering if somebody in my chat can do that and make Arcade Chaos's dream come true. Uh, so if somebody could sub him. There we go. Your average Look at that, UAG. Did. And that's a big sub, Arcade Chaos. I want you to know right now, U UAG is no joke, man. Yep. I got yeah, here's what they call bona fide. The drunk gamer's <laughs> heading out. Thanks for stopping by, the drunk gamer. Drunk gamer, thank you. Drunk you. Gamer. Good to see you. Good to see what, you. What do they say about people that uh, he's bona fide? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, DKOG, what are you saying? We should pick a video? Yeah, let's pick a video real quick, and then we're going to spin for the NES class, if that's okay with everybody on the, all right. on the, on the stream. We're, we're about, we're a little over an hour right now, you know, but hopefully you're all having a good time. 5.02, it's growing, right? Look at that. All night dance party. Start How the music. That video? It's a WWF video. Yeah, that's a great video. I'm going to pull it up on the screen. We'll take a look at it, okay, guys? All right. Go. Jordan. Those Jordans are crazy. That's the whole screen going. So, his video from one day ago, Air Jordan 6, white infrared. I'm going to go back to, to when he started. One year ago, he's been doing this. Look at all these. Look at all these. But I'm thinking we should probably pick one of his video game gameplay videos, right? His WWF. Yeah, WWF one. There it is right there. So, we got this one. And we have this one. We have, we have two of them. We have this one. So we have one from four weeks ago. And then this one says one month ago. It was a January 25th. Is that what you're talking? I was on his channel, so. We have a WWF Superstars 1989 arcade game. Or we have the WW WrestleFest Royal Rumble Mode. Greatest oh. wrestling game ever. Why don't, like we let the community, why don't we let the community <laughs> choose? Chime in, you guys. You guys tell us. Yeah. Chime in. WW WrestleFest, greatest wrestling game ever, question mark. Or the other one, which is the 1989. So if you want to see the 1989, you just type that in. If you want the greatest game ever, type that in. And then we'll just look at the chat and we'll, we'll figure it out. That's how we did uh, G. Parker's with the Cactus Jacks, which, by the way, is a great game. Is that not a great game, Cactus Jacks? It's a great pinball game, and you're the one that told me. But did not t now you asked me to tell stories, tell the story, yeah. Retro Arcade Music Man. Didn't you actually play that table? Yeah, locally, there's yeah. a arcade with pinballs upstairs, and that was one. I gravitated right towards it. I knew it was a classic older game. I took a picture of it. I sent it to G. Parker's, and I said, "You gotta try this. You gotta try this." All right, so any results in? We got uh, WrestleFest. Should we just yeah. do that one? Yeah, let's yeah, do that. That's we... a good game. Yeah. Money. All right. WrestleFest. So that's this one right here. Retro okay. Man Randy Savage. This video, we will put a link down in the description. We want you to go there and write, play it forward, and anything else that you want. That's our retro blitz, okay? And we'll put a link. Don't worry, we got a link, and we'll get a link on the replay. You can see that on DKOG73. You can see it on Play It Forward. Mike Seabees plays the video, and Mr. Postile plays the video. This is and then the we put it all right over here. Facebook, right? And just to, I yes. want you guys to think about yep. this. Right now, we've got 18 people, right? 17 yep. contestants. The first one mm -hmm. we did, we had like 10 contestants, right? Guess what? Imagine six months from now when we do a retro blitz and we retro blitz somebody and it hits 25,000 YouTubers. See, this is These where this are the is going. Rules. It's going to get crazy. Right now, you we're just getting started. This. 
This is the video. It's on the screen. You go there. You type play it forward and anything else you want. If you want, you don't have to. And that gets you entered into the next mega drawing. We're doing a bunch of mini nice. stuff today. Wait till the mega. It's going to be awesome. All right. Are we spinning the wheel one last time and then end Are the show? Ready? Are you going to do your best Vanna White for us, Kimber Time? Hey, by the do way, it, guys, time. Let me I get just you up want there. to say, I want to say one more thing before we spin the wheel. I You're want on. to say thank you so much for all the awesome support. Um, she's She's been so amazing during this whole thing, man, because it's been crazy. She's been so patient with me. And, like, I've put in building this game room and doing play it forward. And you know what? Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful for you. I'm a lucky guy, right? So, this is, this is my soul partner right here. You know what I mean? Give, it, give, that, give that pretty woman a kiss on the cheek. All come right, on, man. Go. Give All it. Right, come right, on. Let's do it right. Here we go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> there you go. Come on. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, hey, we got Brooklyn Menace in the house. Brooklyn Menace. Oh, hey. Hey. Brooklyn Menace. Hey. 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 Hello. Edition. What's on there, camera time? Games. Can you guys all hear me? Are we good? 30 games on this. Nice. All right, perfect. Yeah, we got you. All right, awesome. We got so excited, I like knocked down the Yeti, the whole field, right? <laughs> we but hear it's you. It's all good. It's, it's, all good. it's from the kids. <laughs> That's right. I got all fired up. The nice. game is never over. Here we all go. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the game is never over. Get ready for some excitement for the wonderful NES Classic Edition Mini. The winner is Rob Lins. All right, Rob. All right, nice, Rob. There you go, Rob. That's that positive energy. Thank you, Rob. Wait, who is the, can you, you say it one more time? Can you say it one more time? Who is it? Who is? Can you go full screen real quick, Retro? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here we go. It's Rob. Rob. Those, it, Rob, yeah. those, of, those of you guys that have watched my channel in the past, awesome. Rob Lynch, he, he has been mentioned in my videos before. I have known him for years and years and years. He lives up in Colorado. He's a great there, guy. There. Rob's Rob in the chat. Games. Rob's in the chat right now. Rob's in the chat. Rob's in Rob's the chat. chat. Yep, he's there. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Rob is a great guy. Man. Great Thank guy. Thank you so awesome. much for participating and, 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 and elevating the community, man. Thank you. I've never met you, but I just want to say I'm, I'm super stoked for you that you won. And I hope you like Nintendo, right? Because this thing is loaded with awesome NES games. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. And that is a great system. I personally own that system. DKOG73 owns that system. I don't know if anybody else in our panel has owned that system, but I'm telling you, you just plug it in, HDMI, it has the way cool controllers from the uh, NES days, and it plays beautifully. And the nice thing is, you hook this up on your, your regular television, and uh, it just works. That's the plug and play. Some people like that. So there you Guys, go. Kimber Time's gonna, Kimber Time's gotta get going, she's... I have to jet, so... Just, uh, thanks for having me on. Wanted to, okay. wanted to just, you know, share this experience with all of you and, and uh, wanted to bring so her on. She's, she's a big part of, of what we're doing. So yes. thank you yes. so much. Thanks. Thank you, Kimber Time. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, Kim. Kimber Time. Thank you. It is good to see Kimber Time. You bring her back anytime. Anytime. It's always good to hey, see you. Hey, Retro. Rob yes, says sir. I'm freaking out big time. Yeah, it's on the it's on the screen right there. Yeah. Seriously, Rob, this is a great, great console. That you're gonna love this thing. I I have one. I bought the SNES SNES Mini too, and that is another great machine. Maybe someday in the future we give out that one too. We've oh got yeah, and that's even on. and that one's even more like rare than the NES. So it gets the goes up. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Why don't we do an SNES one? We'll do an SNES and a in a and an at Games Legends Pro. That'll be what we'll do for, for our next big play at Ford really? and Yeah, yeah and, and amongst other things, I mean, we're always doing some fun things. So if we don't have any more giveaways, I think we're going to try to wrap things up. I, I think this was a great success. I think this was a wonderful stream. It's good to see you all. Mike CB's Gaming HQ, Off Grid, and even G Parker's Arcade. 
telling us some stories and just hanging out and ha having fun with us. It was really nice to see you guys. It really was. And DKOG73, thanks for hosting this wonderful event tonight. Really, we couldn't have done it without you. So I appreciate you, DKOG73. Let's hear it for this guy. This guy is awesome. Okay. When, when you think play it forward, you do think of DKOG73. So thank you so much for being positive and bringing that positive energy to the community. Thank you. Thank you so much. What, awesome. You bet, man. I, and you know what? Real quickly, I just want to do a quick shout out. Feral Inferno, we've been chatting the last couple of days. Bro, I appreciate you. I love your setup, man. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have some more fun, man. So it's it's uh, we're just getting started, man. Excellent. Here's the thanks from Feral Inferno right there. So thank you, everybody. We're going to say goodnight. We're going to wave to the cameras. And we will see you on our next episode coming up real soon.